Last year I came to Japan after Fukushima on, on behalf of the European Committee on Radiation Risk and I warned the people of Japan about the cover-ups and about the dangers of the enormous amounts of radioactivity that were being released. Uh, I was asked by the Kodansha Publishing Corporation to uh, collaborate with one of their um, reporters to produce a book in the Japanese language in which I presented the viewpoint, the model of the European Committee of Radiation Risk and all of the discoveries that we had made as a result of laboratory tests and a, as a result of looking at all of the data had come out. Um, and this book is now being published. It will be published today on the 25th of July by the Kodansha Publishing Corporation. And if you want to know what, uh, what the effects of the, of the accident are and you want to know about the cover-ups and the criminal irresponsibility of the government, then buy the book. In this book, you will see leaked data on the extent of the contamination. You will see data from leaked files from the United States Embassy and the Department of Energy of the United States. And these people were measuring the radionuclides and knew right from the very beginning the extent of the contamination. They knew that Tokyo was being contaminated because they had detectors on the roof of the US Embassy. And all of this data you will find in the book. You will find the effects that these uh, um, radionuclide contaminations will have on the people of Japan and particularly those people living in Tokyo because you would have been told falsely by your media that the people living in Tokyo were too far away from the contamination to, to, have, to, to have any health effects, but there will be cancers, heart attacks, leukemias, and general ill health, according to the model of the European Committee on Radiation Risk, the ECRR. In this book also, you will find evidence that Reactor 3 was a nuclear explosion. This is based on the xenon isotope ratios measured in the United States by, by, by various uh, university authorities. You will find evidence of cover-ups and criminal responsibility by both the Japanese government and the international authorities trying to save the nuclear industry. I've been warning since the Fukushima accident of these cover-ups of the health effects. And, all, and since then we have seen many, many pieces of evidence of the dangers of, this, of, of, of these exposures. You've seen people dying suddenly for no apparent reason, people dying of heart attacks, children dying of heart attacks, and we now know as a result of a recent survey that 36% of children examined in the Fukushima prefecture have growths on their thyroid gland. You need to know the truth, and if you want to know the truth, you have to buy this book. And there's one particular piece of evidence that uh, that shows the true horror of what of what happened. There was an air conditioning filter sent to the laboratories of the ECRR here to uh, by a, a lady from central Tokyo who lived on the twentieth floor of a high-rise apartment. And this is an air conditioning filter from inside the building, so it doesn't take any air from the outside of the building. And the material on this filter showed 130,000 becquerels per kilogram of cesium. And it also showed the presence of uranium, uh, enriched uranium and uh, lead-210, which has not been mentioned before. Very, very dangerous radionuclide. So I'm going to show you how we measured the um, radio radioactivity in this filter. And you can see now the true extent of the contamination of Tokyo. Thank you for listening. Lots of people from Japan get in touch with me to ask my advice about whether they should evacuate, whether they should leave the country, and I usually say yes, incidentally, especially if they've got small children. Certainly get far away as they can uh, from, from the contamination.